Could somebody get a microphone? Because this would be a perfect time to drop it! Think fast, dummy! Welcome back, True Believers, and all you Merry Marvelites to another very exciting Marvel Games-related video, especially if this potential project does end up becoming a reality. So yesterday, at the time of this recording, there was a very intriguing news report that did pertain directly to Marvel Games. And while this news may not be an official confirmation of this game currently being in development, similar to the other games that we do currently know about, like Marvel's Spider-Man 2, Marvel's Wolverine, Marvel's Midnight Suns, the unknown Marvel Skydance new media game, and I'm sure a couple others, this is a potential deal that may in fact be made between Marvel Games and another extremely talented and fairly underrated game developer which I would be through the roof excited if this does end up happening. And to put it rather bluntly, it has been reported that Goichi Suda, who is better known for his alias of Suda51, who if you are unaware is a very famous Japanese video game designer, writer, and director, has apparently Apparently been in talks directly with Marvel Games to make a brand new title at Grasshopper Manufacture, who again, if you don't necessarily know who they are, they have made some rather obscure titles. The main franchise they're best known for is without a doubt the No More Heroes series, which to easily summarize is an extremely fun action-adventure hack and slash game. But one of my all-time favorite titles from Suda51, which has been rather overlooked by quite a few people, is undoubtedly Lollipop Chainsaw, which just like No More Heroes is another action adventure hack and slash game, but with tons of style and huge amounts of fun and flair. And for anyone out there who may have played Lollipop Chainsaw for yourself, you can already see exactly how perfect of a match Suda51 would be to work on a character like Deadpool, especially if he were to have access to a major AAA Marvel game budget. Why the hell would I play a game where a blonde cheerleader sucks on lollipops all day long and kills zombies? Well, cause it's freaking awesome? So again, if Suda51 and Grasshopper Manufacturer do end up partnering up with Marvel Games to create a brand new Deadpool game, that is essentially going to be a match made in heaven. Although, to put things into a better perspective, I am going to read directly off of this PlayStation Lifestyle article, which perfectly summarizes everything that you need to know about this recent news. And as the article goes on to describe, Grasshopper Manufacturer CEO Goichi Suda, otherwise known as Suda51, has revealed his studio has been in talks with Marvel Studios to work together on a new game. This will likely take place alongside the three other new IPs the studio is aiming to release over the coming years. Suda51 has long desired to create a Marvel game, first talking about the idea in an interview back in August, with his preferred IPs being Deadpool, Shatterstar, or Quicksilver. The CEO has now revealed how his studio had been in discussions with Marvel Studios to discuss the quote-unquote possibility of working together on something. And coming from Suda51 himself, this is everything that he had to say about the matter, which again, for me personally, makes me insanely hyped if this ends up going through. From now on, we'd like to create three new IPs and launch them one by one. However, we have also said that we would like to make IPs that are based on attractive original works, if there are any. I think that will depend on the discussions we have with Marvel Studios. If Marvel Studios comes up with something good, we'll think about it. And in a relatively joking manner, Suda51 clarifies by saying, I'm sorry, I was saying that from the top down. I'm just kidding. But we've had a few meetings with Marvel, and we've talked about the possibility of working together on something. We hope that the power of video games will help to boost these opportunities. So as you saw earlier in the article, Deadpool isn't the only character that Suda51 would like to work on pertaining to Marvel heroes. And while I do think it is a bit ambitious to work on a character like Shatterstar or Quicksilver for their own standalone game, I could easily see them being incorporated into a character like Deadpool and having a story revolve around him that does end up featuring both of those characters. I'm personally a huge fan of the High Moon Studios Deadpool game that did come out all the way back in 2013. And while you can easily see some tonal similarities to the crazy and zany style that was featured in a game like Lollipop Chainsaw and how Deadpool was handled by High Moon Studios, I still think it would be pretty darn cool to receive another standalone Deadpool game made by a developer who is as passionate about the character as Suda51 seems to be. And for anyone out there who has played Lollipop Chainsaw or No More Heroes, I definitely wouldn't expect this game to be on the same scale as Insomniac Spider-Man games 
or even something more linear based like Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy. But regardless, I definitely think another attempt at a Deadpool game is long overdue at this point, and I definitely think that Suda would do an excellent job at bringing that character to life. But to reiterate once more, none of this has been officially confirmed to be in development as of right now from Marvel Games or Suda himself. But no matter what, I'll still hold on to hope that one day we might end up seeing a Deadpool game from Suda51 in the near future. And with all that said everyone, that's the video I have for you today, and please let me know all your thoughts in the comment section down below. What do you think about receiving another standalone Deadpool game, but this time being made by the people behind No More Heroes and Lollipop Chainsaw? Feel free to tell me everything that you're thinking in the comments, leave a like on the video, and subscribe to the channel if you did enjoy, and for more Marvel Games videos like this in the future. And without further ado, peace out. Oh,